Wolf and Little Mo Sister. It's a black foot dog. It's very nice. Once upon a time, a long time ago, many, many winters ago. There's not big people. We used to live in our camps and we didn't have any dogs or anybody to live with us and protect us and, and warn us of things that were coming. And so Nanabush said, okay, I'm going to have a race. The, and the winner of the race is going to get a great prize. I don't know what it is yet, but the day after tomorrow we'll have it. And we're going to run around a lake like this one out here. It's a big long lake, about a mile long in a horseshoe shape. And, and so he went in the middle and he says, okay, here's the start line. Everybody line up and get ready. And your mark, get set, go. And right away the animal started running real fast and the deer hopped way ahead. And then they'll follow quickly by the wolf and the fox and the coyote. And, uh, and the fox, he says, this is pretty hard keeping up with the dog and the wolf and the coyote. He says, I'm not stupid, I'm smart. He says, I'll just pull off here, jump off the trail here and hide. And he, put, he jumped over and he hid behind the bushes and the other animals went running by. The bear went running, like that. And raccoon, he went running by, and but he got kind of uh, bored. He says, I don't want to run this race. He says, I just want to watch it. So he climbed up a tree, a real tall tree, and sat there in the, in the crotch of the tree, way up in the top there, and he's looking at the animals running around the lake. He says, yeah, this is better. I can see that, and I can see the finish line back here. That's good. And meanwhile, the wolf, and the dog and the coyote were running and jumping over the logs and over the rocks and they were getting bruised and all muddy and matted up. And they ran around the lake and ran around the lake, ran around the lake and gave about three quarters of the way around the lake. And the fox ran around back behind Nanabuju behind the start line. And he waited about 100 feet from the start end of the start line. And he hid in the bushes and he waited. And along came all the other animals and the coyote and the wolf and the dog were trying to tie for first, second, and third, and kind of changing around. And they were running and running so hard. And then when they got where the fox was, the fox jumped out behind them. And because he was fresh, he could run hard. And so he ran really hard past all three of them, the dog and the coyote and the fox. And the dog saw the fox going by. He chased after him as hard as he could, even though he was tired. He ran and he ran his heart out. And he almost made it to the finish line in front of the fox, but he was just behind his bushy tail. And the fox went over first, and the dog came in second, and then the wolf and the coyote. And they said, oh, they all collapsed down. They were so tired, and the dogs are, and they're all laying there hot and sweaty. And the fox sat there, while Gushy says, hmm, I won, I won, I'm first. I get the prize. Nanabuzhu, what do I get for the prize? And Nanabuzhu was like, okay. I know what I will give you for a prize, and he's about to tell him. And at that point, the chickadees, you know the chickadees, the little black and white, red came along, and they landed on Nanabush's shoulders, and they chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. And they told Nanabush what they had saw the fox do, that he had cheated in the fox. And Nanabush looked at the chickadees and said, Miigwech, thank you for that information. I can use it. And then he looked down at Wagwish, the fox, and he grabbed him right away. And he picked them up and he says, I know what you did, you cheated. Because of that, I'm going to punish you. You're not getting the prize. And so he took a stick from his fire and he burnt his ears, made them black. And he burnt his nice fluffy tail on the end too. And he says, don't you ever cheat again. He says, I says, because I will punish you more severe next time if you ever cheat again. And so he threw that fox over into the forest. And he says, Namush, Anamush, dog. He says, you ran your heart out to try to win this race and you almost caught the fox up with the finish line. He says, that's a true runner. He says, you get the prize. And your prize will be that you will live with humankind, human beings, the Anishinaabe people forever. You will live by him in his home, by his campfires. You will eat his food. And you will protect him from things that go bump in the night that he can't hear or see. You will be his friend forever. 
And so from that, that point on, all dogs, they live with us, right? Even on the reserves. We have dogs, they stay outside under the steps, or we make them dog houses, or they sleep on the landing, the stair you know, by the front door. And they bark when people come to the door at night. And they protect us from skunks and everything else that comes around. And Fox, to this day, he's always looking over his shoulder to see who's coming after him. If he comes out in the open, he has to look around and see. Because he's scared, he's going to get beaten up. If he gets caught again by the wolf or the coyote. And the coyote and the wolf were so sad that they lost. And on long, cold nights in the middle of the winter, when it's really hard and cold, they look down in the valleys and they can see where the humans live with the dog. They know the dog is there at the campfire. And he's, the dog is eating human food and living with the human beings and the lodge warm and safe. And they feel sad. And it makes them want to cry. And they look at the full moon and they go, oh, 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 oh. You know how the wolves sing together? Yeah. yeah. That's how they howl together. That's why they're singing their sad song, because they remember they lost the race. And the dog won the race and became man's best friend forever. And that's the end of the story. The end. The end. The end.